Hi guys, my name is Inazemtsev Pavel and I'd like to introduce my set of assets in a sci-fi style that you can use to build your own game location. First of all, let's look at this literal example map and then we will talk about how to use this kit. Now my lighting is already baked. This door is automatically open. And you can make any light flicker. These are my stairs. Let's go down. Of course, it's just an example, but you can build a lot of variations using this set. And this is a little hole. Alright, let's go to assets. Now, to start working, you can either create a new level or just open all assets map in a maps folder of our Omega project. And now I can just take any asset I need and move it to a new place. I'm holding Alt to copy it and also Let's take this one. And don't forget to use snapping. And I would like to create a wall. Let's take this mesh. And I'm going to change my step to place it correctly. very well and uh, we can also change our mesh right from here and if we need we can also take those assets from meshes folder And again, let's copy it and replace the mesh. Now let's take this one. That's how we build our map. By the way, you are able to filter all meshes by size. Now let's go to our materials. I tried to create flexible options. You can change colors. Roughness. And other things. Let's add some edge wear effect make our scratches less noticeable change tiling now I'd like to demonstrate my decal material but first let's replace this mesh Here we uh, can see a lot of details and let's go to material. Among many other uh, parameters we also can change emissive color for our 
glowing parts emissive intensity and we can make it flicker and if you look at info details we can regulate desaturation I will make it uh, zero roughness and where I've just created a mask that make our decals damaged uh, too fast let's decrease our camera uh, speed movement and you can see what's happening if we activate this wear. So basically what is happening, we just take our parent materials, let's uh, filter them, and then we create instances from them and change the uh, parameters of uh, those instances. If we want to filter our instances, we just type mi and all our instances are being showed in a content browser. Now let's assume that you have to put some sign on the surface of uh, your mesh. Let's take this wall. And for this purpose, you have to use decal object with our info decals material. You can either create a new decal or just use this object from our all assets scene. I'm copying it, rotating and placing it right on the surface of our mesh. You can see we have uh, this texture with all signs but now I'm gonna leave only this sign level and we have just to get rid of all unnecessary information uh, to do this we have to go to material parameters but first let's create another instance And in the end of uh, the name, I'm gonna type level. Actually, I recommend you to have uh, a separate folder for your info details. I've already created uh, it, but now I'm gonna apply our new instance to our decal object and I'm going to change some parameters. What do we have? We have different parameters, uh, different options. And first of all, I'm gonna use cropping. I have to leave only some small uh, portion. Something like this. And now let's go to offsetting. I can see my level text. Here we are. Let's make some small value. And this is how we are getting only necessary information. Now I'm going to change emissive intensity a bit and add some wear.
Great. Now, especially for this package, I created several blueprint objects. Let's talk about our light fixtures. We can place them anywhere we like. And the good uh, thing is that we can regulate the position and rotation of uh, some light parts. Or we can just rotate it uh, this way. Make it uh, shorter or longer. And we are also able to make our light flicker. To do this, we have to go to material of our uh, lamps. We have the flickering frequency here. And I'm going to make it one. You can see that uh, these lamps started flickering. But if we look at the light source, we can see that uh, it doesn't flicker at all. To fix it, I'm going to use light function material. And let's select our light source. I'm going to switch it to stationary or movable mode to make it flicker. And let's go down here, find our light function. Of course, we have our parent material that you can use to create your own light uh, function instances. But I'm going to use this one, for example, and drag and drop it to light function uh, material slot. Uh, what can we see? We see that our flickering uh, frequencies don't match each other, right? And I'm going to material parameters and here I have to set the same value, 1. Let's look at the uh, result. Great. And in the blueprints folder we also have the cables. I'm going to demonstrate them. the big and the small one. To change it, we have to work with these vertices. Now let's add the new one and change the curvature. That's how we are able to adjust the shape of the cable. The same with the small one. And this door opens automatically. I've already showed it to you in the example map. And we also have these little sparks. And finally, inside your content Omega folder, you have this archive with meshes in FBX format and textures in PNG format. It's in case you need to change or 
modify something in source objects using some uh, 3D editor. Uh, 